Greetings, hello everyone. Uh, today I just decided to create a new short educational tutorial related to the ArcSight Transformation Hub. In this video I will integrate the Transformation Hub with ArcSight Management Center. Okay, um, probably before starting the integration between the ArcSight uh, Management Center and the Transformation Hub is worth mentioning and it's worth uh, just uh, saying a few words about the both uh, products. So the ArcSight Management Center is just a centralized uh, management tool that simplifies, uh, you know, security policy configuration, deployment maintenance and monitoring in uh, an efficient and uh, cost-effective manner. Management and monitoring uh, delivers a single management interface to administrate and to monitor ArcSight managed nodes such as connector appliances, loggers, connectors, collectors and as well other ArcSight management centers and uh, uh, as well transformation hubs. Um, about the Transformation Hub, like in a few words, Transformation Hub is just a high-performance uh, message bus for ArcSight security network flows, uh, application, and uh, as well other events can be processed. So it can uh, essentially queue, transform, and uh, route security events to other ArcSight or third-party software. This Kafka-based platform allows ArcSight components like Logger and like ArcSight Enterprise Security Manager and as well investigate to receive uh, event streams while smoothing event spikes and uh, functioning as an extended cache. So Transformation Hub ingests, enriches, normalizes and then uh, routes event data uh, from data producers to connections between existing data lakes, analytics platforms, and as well other security technologies and um, the multi, uh, multiple systems within the security operations center. So Transformation Hub can uh, see, uh, seamlessly broker data from any source and to any destination. Its architecture is based on Apache Kafka, like I've already said, and it supports native uh, Hadoop distributed fi file systems, so HDFS. Um, as you can see as well from this screenshot here, it's uh, on the right side of our screen. Um, enabling, like I said, uh, as well ArcSight Logger, uh, Investigate, uh, ArcSight Enterprise Security Manager to receive events uh, from actually to gather those events uh, like subscribers from the different topics that you can create in the Transformation Hub. Okay, um, and yeah, so in this video, uh, what uh, we are going to do essentially, um, like I said, uh, we'll focus primarily and mainly our attention on the Transformation Hub software and not only, but as well the uh, ArcMC, which is right on top of the Transformation Hub. So from ArcMC, what we're going to do, we're just going to uh, simply manage the Transformation Hub um, and as well we have the capability later to manage our loggers, our uh, smart connectors and so on. So from a centralized, from a central location, we can manage all those. Um, and yeah. Let's uh, let's start slowly uh, our int. Okay, uh, let me open now one browser. I'm gonna use Google Chrome, and yeah, let's try to access our RKMC. So what we need to do: HTTPS colon double slash and then the host name or the IP address. In this case, I'm going to use the host name of our. ArcSight Management Center, which is rkmc1.acme.com and then I'm just going to put my credentials in order to access the uh, ArcSight Management Center. So from here, from this view, um, probably um, 
most of you know already but uh, this is the place from where you can see all the devices uh, other arc site management centers loggers smart connectors uh, collectors so collectors are not the same as connectors um, if we have time a little bit later we'll explain this uh, and as well the transformation hub um, okay uh, now here under nodes you can see that uh, I have zero transformation hub nodes, uh, nothing, so uh, we're about to import them now. What we need to do, um, basically uh, I'm accessing right now my uh, transformation um, hub, the master node. Um, just wanted to show you that uh, from here by accessing uh, my TH uh, uh, m1.acme.com uh, typing the port uh, 5443 uh, it's opening up the item management tool from where I can uh, configure, reconfigure my transformation hub uh, software uh, now in order to start the integration uh, from the ArcSide management center we go under the administration tab and then under setup okay um, we go here under SSL server, uh, certificate, enter certificate settings, etc. Blah blah. Um, so, here what we can do, we can go under view certificate, which is under yeah, here, and uh, what we can say, we can say control A just to mark everything. I'm going to open one notepad and I'm simply going to paste it on this notepad right here okay and then yeah uh, right and now under the administration tab we click on the three little dots this is from the transformation hub from the master right um, and then reconfigure if we scroll down under the reconfigure section we have this management center configuration and here it says simply just localhost and then the port 443 what we want to do is just to input is just to type the host name but before that i'm just going to make sure that the uh, my credentials are written and that they are correct and after that i'm just going to modify i'm going to change the host name here so i'm gonna type rkmc onecom instead of localhost all right okay and here um we need to paste we need to paste the um previously copied um yep certificate and then click on save this literally takes a couple of seconds okay and now you can see yeah that the configuration has been uh, successfully taken and saved all right so what you can do eventually um, you can open um, from command line you can access just like I'm doing uh, your server okay uh, and this is our master this is the transformation hub master and uh, I'm gonna put the command in the chat so here I have uh, uh, the uh, certificate from from the master and if you wish as well you can copy this certificate because a little bit later uh, I'll show you once we go under RKMC we will have to actually import this certificate under RKMC okay I've just pasted it under my notepad and I'm gonna open now uh, my browser let's open the GUI of RKMC 
and let's go under note management view all notes now under view all notes probably uh, you're going to notice if you go under uh, hosts actually no first sorry gotta go under uh, locations right next to hosts default and then hosts here we have the local host I'm going to simply click on add a new host and I'm going to type in the uh, host name of my master so thm1.tacme.com okay transformation hub this is a containerized kind of deployment we've used a CDF installer for it port and yeah current port 443 user credentials admin the password okay and now I need to paste the second copied certificate into this box right here right okay click on that and yeah now it uh, says import host certificate continue and now we're importing the certificate that we have um, basically displayed from our uh, master node of the transformation hub all right okay now again we can go under view all nodes hosts and do you see now i have a newly added host this is my transformation hub host finally added and um, available it says no issues the local host actually uh, one second configuration logger peers uh, yeah. um, this local host it says that uh, there is an issue um, if you take a look you see uh, what you might want to do is just to say here download uh, certificates Okay, certificate for yeah, HTTPS localhost 443 has been imported successfully. Click on done. Okay, and again, it's reporting. Um, I mean, the localhost is reporting an issue. Um, now, as well, you can select the localhost. and yeah uh, just make sure that you click on uh, up right next to download certificates on the left side it says uh, update credentials so i've clicked on update credentials uh, because i need to update them uh, and now now it should be fine yeah it still reports an issue that there is no internet connection uh, internet uh, but yeah that's that's fine the most important thing is that uh, we have uh, added the uh, transformation hub to our uh, deployment so uh, if you go now under administration um, yeah system admin and then uh, audit logs here from audit logs you can do as well something you can type uh, where it says um, description okay in the up yeah here host ads search okay so here is the uh, search result and uh, yeah it's it's been it's been added successfully so node management under node management if you go for a second if you expand a little bit your uh, all your nodes that you have you'll see the local host which is the current uh, RKMC host 
and under it you will find as well the transformation hub master you can uh, view the configuration of it as well um, you can go uh, under dashboards if you wish before that one second yeah let me go under the transformation hub transformation hub notes this is the RKMC uh, and this is the TH transformation hub nodes so I have one master and one worker this is a small deployment usually you're going to have more workers and more masters for redundancy for uh, you know the replica of data but yeah under dashboard if you go under topology um, here you will see all device products all connectors imported yeah connectors collectors loggers transformation hubs and eventually your destinations right now uh, i have only imported my transformation hub and do you see it's already showing uh, my active destinations indeed the transformation hub uh, i have two subscribers my esm1 and my uh, logger server um, since I haven't really imported any connectors uh, which are actually forwarding key events to the transformation hub that's why they, they are not really displayed here uh, but if I uh, go now and if I uh, start uh, uploading connectors and collectors um, to the RKMC they'll start uh, you know uh, becoming uh, visible okay guys so that was the short tutorial that I wanted to show you so thanks a lot for watching